Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan, and the new era of Doctor Who that is coming with the return of Russell T. Davies is kind of ambiguous at best when it comes to quality and fan response to it. I personally am very, very, very near blackpilled with it. I am not interested in really, they're going to have to do a lot to convince me to reinvest in the series. Because I have the channel, I will of course be watching the 60th anniversary specials, but I'm holding out any sort of hope that it'll be good until we see more about it. I'm very much not really interested in the future of Doctor Who at this point. It died a long, long time ago, but we have an interesting announcement about the 60th anniversary and going into the future into Shudi Gatwa's upcoming season thereafter. And a lot of press releases and announcements prior to today implied that Yasmin Finney's Rose would be the companion of Shudi Gatwa going forward, but we actually now have an announcement that contradicts that as we have a new companion announced for Doctor Who. We have this here from the Doctor Who.tv, and yeah, they're managed by the BBC, so this is of course 100% legit, and I was honestly surprised to see this announcement through my Twitter feed earlier today. And Millie Gibson is the new Doctor Who companion, Ruby Sunday. Ruby Sunday is fine enough a name, it's kind of an interesting one, don't really have any thoughts on that. Ruby, I mean, we nothing, nothing too wrong to say about that name there, totally fine. And I don't know anything about this person. I've never heard of this actress before. I don't know anything about the personal life or the filmography. So we're going to meet her together throughout this video. So going down, Millie has landed the role along Shudi Gatwa. She's best known for Coronation Street. I've never heard of that. The British Soap Awards. She won an award there, Best Young Performer. That's good. So she's at least talented enough to get into there if it is an unbiased award system. I'm not familiar with the British Soap Awards. Millie also appeared in Butterfly and Love, Lies, and Records. I'm not familiar with any of those. I'm not familiar with her filmography whatsoever, but her age is an interesting thing. She's 18 years old, and we haven't had a companion this young since Billy Piper's Rose Tyler when the show initially came back in 2005. Age isn't an issue, so we'll have to see how well of an actor she is. I'll need to do a little bit of research to see if she's capable of portraying this role well. Because after the Doctor, the Companion is the most important role. Because it's their story that really links the audience into the show. I believe their storylines are probably even more important than the Doctor's in their own respective seasons. The Doctor has to be phenomenal, but the story of the Companion has to be just as phenomenal to match. Let's hope that she can carry a story off that well, because the last few years, we haven't had a good companion. Even back when I still liked the show, we haven't had a good companion with a good story that's worth rooting for, that's worth getting invested in, since Amy, really, because Clara's story changed constantly. Her best story was probably season eight with her relationship with Danny Pink. Besides that, she was erratic at the very, very best when it came to her specific story. But this actress, Millie, has an actual comment about this announcement. She says, while still being in total disbelief, I'm beyond honored to be cast as the Doctor's companion. It is a gift of a role and a dream come true. And I will do everything to try and fill the boots the fellow companions have traveled in before me. So far, really great comments, not attacking anyone, not saying anything negative. This is just basic, basic customer service. This is just basic marketing. So at this point, got nothing to say against this young woman. And what better way to do that than being with the fabulous shooter got was side. I just can't wait to get started. So far, so good. Nothing, I have nothing against this actress at this point from what she said to what she looks like to her filmography. I actually really prefer less known actresses for the most part to really reinvest in the series. Probably more known actors of the Doctor, but the companions probably lesser known, but that's not a hard and fast rule. It's just kind of, you know, I, I like it better when it's that way because yeah, Amy, she, Karen Gillan wasn't particularly well known prior to her role as Amy kind of what I prefer. Same with Billy Piper. So we'll see how she turns out. I really need to actually watch some footage with her to see if she's any good and learn a little bit more about her. And Judy Gatwa also had a comment about this announcement saying, Millie just is the companion. She is full of talent, strength. She has cheeky sparkle in her eye and as sharp as a razor. From the moment she walked into the room, she captured all of our attention with her effervescence and then solidified that attention with the sheer torque of her talent. This adventure is going to be so wild, so fun, and I can't wait to sail the universe with Millie. Beyond that initial set of interviews with Russell T. Davies on the set of some you know, award ceremony where they announced him as the doctor, there hasn't been a whole lot that Shudigawa said that has 
made me concerned. I mean, the over-reliance on they occasionally, sometimes he says he, but sometimes he says they for the doctor. That's concerning. But Shudigawa isn't going out there like Jody Whitaker and saying, oh, this is a practice in the male gaze. Oh, I'm not going to watch previous Doctor Who so far. These two haven't really done a whole lot for me to dislike them. It's more the behind the scenes, Disney's involvement, Russell T. Davey, some of the stuff he's saying that's really getting me concerned. So far, I don't have a whole lot against them. Personally, my bigger issue with Shudigawa is his previous filmography. I don't think he has the masculinity to really sell the Doctor. That can totally change as soon as a real trailer comes out and I can see him in the role. Acting is a kind of a nuanced approach and actors are capable of stuff that you haven't previously seen them do before. So jury's still out on him, but I'm very concerned about the masculine and the thousand yard stare, as Gary from Narada puts it, which is a major part of the Doctor's character. I'm worried about him portraying that part well. But so far, these two young people are doing a very good job about interacting with fans, not being aggressive, not saying anything untoward. And so far, I don't have anything really against them to say. And I was very surprised when I realized that. I really don't have anything negative to say about them. But continuing, Russell T. Davies also had a comment about this. He said, It's the great honor of my job to find the next generation of talent. And Minnie shines like a star already. She's brilliant, dynamic, clever, and a wonderful actor. As a Coordination Street fan, I've seen... Millie survived chases, guns, and sieges. Oh, I didn't realize Coronation Street would be like an action role. Not from the title. I don't know anything about it, but action is definitely something that's important for a companion and the doctor to know. But that's nothing compared to what lies ahead of Ruby Sunday. So far, some really interesting stuff. I have to see how this all turns out, see more about these two, and really see what the future of this franchise holds. So far, there's nothing in this announcement that has me overly concerned. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here, and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.